G'day guys, in today's video I'm going to be going through AFL Trade Rumours Part 3. The Geelong Cats and Western Bulldogs have been linked to Port Adelaide Ruckman Peter Laddams. It comes after Herald Sun journalist John Rolfe reported last week that the power would consider dealing Laddams during the trade period despite the 23 year old being contracted for next season. The big man played 17 games with Port this season and has shown great promise as a Ruckman but he remains the second choice option behind Scott Lysette. The Dogs have not escalated the conversation yet since they just finished their grand final. John Ralph told Fox Sports News on AFL Tonight that it's a conversation Geelong will have internally, whether it's very low interest or whether it's going to escalate in the next couple of weeks, so they might do a deal on it. Geelong quite clearly needs some ruck cover there. Just watch your space on Geelong and Peter Adams. Laddams has played 32 games since making his debut in 2019. The Brisbane Lions are contemplating several tall options to bolster their big man stocks. They include ex-Blue Levi Casbolt, Cat Darcy Fort and Magpie Mason Cox, the latter of who's yet to be offered a contract extension from Collingwood. It comes as the Lions look to bring in support for injured forward Eric Hipwood, who is set to miss most of the 2022 season due to an ACL injury. However, Brisbane have a limited cap space and as such have to target a cheaper player on the market. Both Queensland clubs have shown interest in Casbolt, while Brisbane is seemingly more serious about acquiring him. The 31-year-old was delisted by the Blues at season's end after 154 games at the club. Fort, who didn't feature at AFL level with this season, remains contracted at Geelong for 2022. Delisted Adelaide forward Tom Lynch has confirmed he will be at North Melbourne in 2022 as a development coach, and the door hasn't been closed on him putting back on the boots. Lynch was cut by the Crows at season's end after 164 games in 12 seasons, two of those years at St Kilda. Speaking on AFL Trade Radio, the 31-year-old said he wasn't expecting his career at Adelaide to come to an end so quickly but he was passionate about moving into a new role with the Kangaroos. He said it would primarily be a coaching position with an aspect of playing. Lynch said, The main reason to move over is around coaching. Playing can be an element we can explore. Lynch said Adelaide offered him a coaching position, but he thought it was time to step away from a club he was so familiar with. Carlton is exploring the possibility of bringing in West Coast tall Jared Brander during the trade period. The 195 centimetre brander will meet with the Blues this week in hope of finding a new home, with the Eagles yet to offer him a contract for 2022. Last week, Sam Petrovsky Seaton requested a trade to West Coast, and if Carlton commits to brander, both players could be involved in the same trade. West Coast has selections 10, 29, 35, and 49 in November's draft, while Carlton is likely to use pick six on Adam Chera and also has pick 25, but no third rounder. The Blues have identified the wing position as an area of concern, and Brander, who spent 83% of game time on the wing in 2021, is on their radar. In 2020, he played 64% on the wing, but was mainly used as a forward before then. According to champion data, Matthew Cottrell and Jack Dunes were Carlton's two main wingers this year although Will Setterfield and the out-of-contract Lockie O'Brien also spent time there. Brander, who is 22, played 11 senior matches for the Eagles in 2021. He's notched 22 for his career since debuting in 2018. Originally from Mildura, he was selected with pick 13 in the 2017 National Draft and was originally touted as a key forward prospect. Geelong has expressed interest in Brander in the past too. Geelong speedster Jordan Clark's future is up in the air after the departure of the club's defensive coach, Matthew Scarlett. Clark is contracted for one more season at Geelong, but as revealed earlier this month, he is met with Fremantle and is weighing up a trade to get back to Western Australia. Clark may be holding off on a lodging Clark may be holding off on lodging an official request after the departure of defensive coach and Cats great Matthew Scarlett. Jordan Clark is contracted for one more season at the Cats. He hasn't been able to play in the defensive system because my understanding is that Matthew Scarlett hasn't wanted him to play there, Cleary said on AFL Trade Radio. He's a non-believer in Jordan Clark as a defender in that side. That's why you've seen Jordan Clark try to play on the wing and even as a small forward this season. 
It hasn't worked. He's a halfback or even a wingman. That's just where he's played his best footy as a junior and at his first year into the Cats when he burst onto the scene. Cleary said the Dockers are willing to offer the 20-year-old a four-year deal and that he's still expected a trade request to come. A Herald Sun report this week said the Cats were prepared to hold Clark to his contract if a suitable deal couldn't be reached with the Dockers. Essendon coach Ben Rutten says his side is more likely to look within to develop more inside midfield depth, but admitted the club will certainly go after a rival player if the right opportunity presents. The Bombers are coming off a season that far exceeded expectations, but have been looking to develop their inside midfield brigade, something which saw them unsuccessfully target Western Bulldogs star Josh Dunkley last season. Speaking on SEN Breakfast, Rutten was asked whether he was on the lookout for players at other clubs to add on to his side during the trade period. If we think it's going to strengthen and improve our squad, then we certainly will be. But I think probably what we did this time last year. I thought we had a lot of things in our squad that we hadn't uncovered yet, he said. I was really keen to, rather than looking elsewhere, to actually continue to develop and see what we've got on our list. I think we've had some really strong examples of that over the course of our last season. Carlton midfielder Sam petresky seaton has requested a trade to West Coast in a move that looks set to prevent the Blues from using the Western Australian product directly in their pursuits of Fremantle's Adam Chera. Former number six draft pick petresky seaton has loomed as a potential trade bait for the Dockers, who were told by Chera he wants to move home to Victoria for family reasons after four seasons in the West. But petresky seaton's desire to join the Eagles, which was confirmed in a brief statement by Carlton head of football Brad Lloyd on Tuesday, has thrown a spanner in the works. The Blues will have to get creative if they are to win the race for Chera, with grand finalist Melbourne also on the running to secure his services. Fremantle will demand a high end draft pick as part of the Fremantle will demand a high end draft pick as part of the deal, having initially selected Chera at number five in the 2017 draft. The highly rated 21 year old has played 76 games for the Dockers and is regarded as having leadership potential. Most likely, Petrovsky Seaton will end up with the West Coast Eagles. St Kilda utility Ben Long is contracted for 2022, but is reportedly garnering the interest of several clubs around the competition. Mitch Cleary reports Essendon are among a number of teams to have inquired about the 24-year-old. Long has played 60 games since making his AFL debut in 2017, most recently making 15 senior appearances in 2021.